Oh, Tiffany found me a turtle. In the basket he goes. <laughs> Well, it is a dog junkies thrifting day. I have to come down here and pick up a cage that I ended up purchasing the other day while I was picking up something that I needed to ship. Um, so I couldn't resist. It's a big parrot cage. Now we don't have a big parrot yet, but it is on our wish list. And this way, if the right one comes along, we've got a cage. I'm here. Uh, She's not near me right now, but I'm here with my friend Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. Go check out her channel. Uh, she's got a van, and so she's helping me pick up this cage. And so, of course, we're going to do a little thrifting, too. So let's get inside and see what new things they put on the shelf. First thing in, I spot this really nice... It's a butter dish. I do believe this is EAPG. Really nice press glass butter dish. I like it. And I know it's not like a huge expensive item, but it is an antique and it needs to be loved. And then there's this one here for just $4. So I'm gonna grab both of those and they're gonna have to come up with something else to put on that shelf. These are super pretty. Let's see who makes them. They're peacocks on them. It doesn't say who makes them, but boy, those have a really nice look. And I need a couple more vases for the front porch. So I think these might just do the trick. They've got the colors I'm kind of using, and I do like the peacocks, so we're gonna pick those up. Okay, let's see what's up on the... I think I pick this up every single time. It's false graph. Um, uh, the rug's sixty dollars. Yeah. See what we got on the shelf up here. I don't know if Tiffany's found anything yet. I'm gonna have to go catch up with her and see. We always find good things here. There's always fun things. What is this for? It's got this interesting little lid here. I'm not quite sure what you would do with that. I'm sure one of you guys knows. Oh, there's two of them. There's another one. What are those? Are those just, oh, maybe it's just like to keep it fresh, to kind of get the air out or something. Can you tell? I'm just, I'm not a kitchen person. I don't cook. <laughs> Noah cooks though. Noah's been the cook. He made a beef brisket last night that was to die for. Oh my gosh. He's getting so good, and he's getting really good at choosing his spices and herbs and things to use, and he kind of looks at a recipe, and then he goes, oh, I'm going to do it my own way. I love it. All right, let's see. What do we have? I still have this little set. Look, at it's these pieces, and it's all these little bowls. I don't know who makes this. It's really cute, though. It's a 10-piece set. I do like it. I would not want to ship it though. Oh, this one's a divided dish. <coughs> and then you've got and it's $60 for the 10 piece set. Uh, I really like it. But again, I not only do I not cook, I don't really throw parties either. So <laughs> I have no use for something like that. I mean, I always aspire to throw parties, but I can never quite get my house in shape to uh, throw a party. I mean, I'm a reseller. You guys get it. You know how that goes. We always have the great, great aspirations though. Okay. We still got this little guy here. Ooh, and unfortunately he's getting a little beat up now. Hopefully somebody will come along for him. And gotta look up top too, but I don't see anything. Okay, let's see what's back here by the lamps. That has kind of the look and shape of a mid-century lamp, but there's something off about that finish. So I think it's a reproduction. Actually, I'm quite sure it's a reproduction. There's no thinking about it. And 
so not something I want to deal with. If it was the real thing, I'd probably be taking it home. Spotted this little onyx marble stone trinket box for two dollars. Let's see, there's a little, you know what, it's not, it's, I wanted to say it was chipped, but it's not, it's, it's just not, it's just the grain of the, the marble there. It looks like it might have had a little finial on there at some point, but for two dollars, how can you go wrong? And then right behind it, I spotted this sweet little hand-painted bird vase, and it's two dollars. Here's the artist's name on the bottom, Betson, 1997. That's just too sweet to leave behind, so I'm going to grab the little bird vase, too. Okay, I don't think there's anything else on the shelves here that I haven't already seen. Oh, wait. This is the Saint Roche Patron of Dogs. But I can't see it. Is this like a... Okay, I'm going to have to open this up and see what's inside. So this is what it looks like. And it's kind of a, I think it's like a chalkware type piece. That's interesting. Let me see what the little sign thing says. St. Roche was born in France in 1295. Blah, 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 blah. It just, so it just gives the story of him. Oh, there's a little coupon piece in there. See, it is like a little catalog page for this item. That's always nice to have. Um, it is by artist Hank Schlau. It doesn't give a date. Hmm. That's intriguing. That's intriguing. So it was sold like through a magazine, but unfortunately we don't have a date. And I don't think it has a date on it either. Let me see, let me look at it one more time. Oh, there's the artist signature on the side. So we've got that. Hmm, that might be one I might have to look up. Okay, well, I did a little digging and I cannot find another one like this, but I did find that this is a very, very popular saint. And so I'm going to go ahead and pay the $10 and see when I get home a little bit more research on the computer and I'm sure I can make my money. All right. I did notice this butterfly plate. It's also a hand painted hobbyist piece. And we've got the bunny. Oh, that's a pure one. Hmm. Very cute. Very cute bunny for $2, but I'm not going to get that today. Another hand painted and I don't know. All right. So I might get him if he's still here next time, but I'm not picking him up today. And this is still here. This has been here for quite a while. Got one of these nice Burlwood slab clocks. And these actually can do pretty well. They're asking only $12 for it. And it's in really good shape. Even if the clock part didn't work, it's so easy to replace those. Um, as it is easy to replace like the hand mechanisms and stuff. So this is this is the part that's worth the money. But we're going to go ahead and leave that today as well. Poor little SpongeBob is still here waiting for his new home. I'm sure somebody will get him one day. Ooh, clamshells. Let me see how much those are. I just, I don't need them that much. I don't need them that much. Okay, let's wander over there. 
this is all of their, well, it's not all of their, but it's pet supplies and food bowls and doggy doors and carriers, none of which we need today. So doggy toy, oh wait, what are those? What are those? Those are slippers. Those are my first Christmas booty slippers. Very cute. Just had to look. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Tiffany found me a turtle. In the basket he goes. <laughs> Thank you. And let's look through the stuffies here. I have so much plush that it's not listed yet. I feel guilty even looking at plush. This is a Dorbs. So I'm really not looking <laughs> very hard except that's pretty funny. Let's see if I can even... It's like a big Christmas bulb plushy. That's hilarious. Alright, let's look. This is an interesting doll. She's like all made of She's almost like one of those rag mop dolls, but not quite. This is, it feels more like yarn. Um, she looks completely handmade. She's pretty cool. But we're going to leave her. And see if there's anything else here. Pieces and pieces. washable markers. I just found out through my live chat yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday, that selling individual crayons is a thing. That there are discontinued colors and there are colors that collectors look for. Uh, who knew? Who knew? But then there was this. Look at this pin cushion for a dollar. Um, how could I leave that behind? That's super stinking cute. I just spotted some Mickey Mouse plates. There's three of them. Six dollars, but they're pretty scratched up. Gabe. I'm trying to see. They are made by Gibson. I don't see a date on them, but that's probably like one of the best ones. Because look, poor little Mickey is, he's pretty scratched up. So condition is very important when you're selling Disney stuff and collectibles in general. So we have to leave him behind. But at least it uh, shows you what to be on the lookout for. Because I try to put all these prices up in the corner for you. So you know when you're out and you spot this stuff, what it's worth. What you finding over there? I found a cute little um, needle stitchery completed. That is cute. It's very. It is cute. Nice. It's a lot of work in that. Yeah. Spring flea market, May thirteenth, nineteen ninety-five. Huh? It's made to look like a yadro, but it is not. Do you have 101 uses for a chihuahua? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a matching girl to this cute little boy. And look at the puppy. Look at the puppy's eyes. Is this a Joseph Originals? Hmm, I don't think so. It doesn't have the right finish, but it's, it's definitely vintage. And it's only $1. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. And then I just realized I passed her by and she looks like the same maker. Now she's actually got a mark under there. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Probably not. I have no nails to kind of pull that tab up. Oh my goodness. Stand by. All right, that's all it has. It's just got a little number under there, but she's also only a dollar. So I could actually lot her up with the little boy and uh, they could stay together. Okay, this is, oh, 
It's leather. I did not expect that. It's like a little, it's like a little leather bank. I guess you pull, you open this up to, oops. Let's see if I can do this one. Here, this is what knees are for, right? There we go. Oh, genuine leather made in India. So I guess that's how you get your coins out. I don't think I've ever seen a leather bank like that. That's that's intriguing. I know it's $14, but I'm kind of digging it. It's very unique, so I think I'm going to pick this up. All right, this is all the stuff just coming out on the floor. So we got to dig through here a little bit, right? Let's, oh, is this one of those Charlie Brown Christmas trees? I love these. These are great. Who doesn't love a Charlie Brown Christmas tree? It even includes a little security blanket. Let's see. I don't think she has this priced yet. I would be buying that for myself. And so I'm going to try to show some self-discipline because I need to catch up on everything that I have been buying so I can show you guys the porch project. <laughs> this, I do, well, boy, I was gonna say it's Blenko, but I don't think Blenko made that real iridescent finish. I'm trying to think, if, is it Indiana Glass made one very similar like this? It's cool, I like it. But we're gonna leave that one. Have a look at this little blue bowl. Just little pieces of, great little accent pieces. You now, if you're decorating. All right, and then you got the Ruby Flash King's Crown punch bowl set. Very pretty. Oh, just see if there's anything on this side that we can't live without. I don't see anything. Let's go check in the little Everett, Washington. Nope. Nothing, nothing we can't live without, except maybe Greta. Greta's from Pure One Imports. Let's see what Greta looks like in person. Look at Greta. Look how cute Greta is. All right, let's see how much Greta is. You know, when, when they have a name, it's a little hard to resist. It's, you must have to, you have to go with it. Greta's only two dollars. We're gonna pick up Greta. We've got some vintage glass little snack trays. These are cool, but unfortunately they don't have a high resale value. I wish they'd make a comeback because there's a lot of them out there. <laughs> That's probably why they don't have a high resale value though, is because there's a lot of them out there. It's all about scarcity. And let's see, anything else? I don't see anything except maybe this little girl here. Cute little box. It says she is Maud Humphrey Bogart, the magic kitten. Heirloom tradition, $16. She's got a little kitten on a ribbon. Hmm. Might be one I might have to look up and see. So I did look it up and found out that Maud Humphrey Bogart is actually the mother of Humphrey Bogart. Uh, well, it says it right there. Um, this does sell for about $16 online. So this thrift store will negotiate prices, but I'm gonna leave this and hopefully someone will give them full price for it. I like them to get full price. If it's still here in a couple weeks when I come back, yeah, then I'll wheel in deal, because I like it. But I want them to make as much money as possible because they use the money to rescue and take care of doggies, which is, you know, near and dear to my heart, so. don't see much else on this shelf. That's a Nesco. Cute little set. All right. Uh, I don't see
see anything else. All right, I just had him pull out this little tray of jewels and cuteness. Let's look and see what we have to, uh, look at that. I think we have to have him. He's $4. We're gonna pick up that little kitty. And this little kitty is really cute. Little kitty face, he's $4. We're gonna get him. And let's see, anything else? It's an interesting, it's a, oh, it's a clip. Oh, it says something on it. Who does that say? <laughs> That's where I found those I, it's one of those designery kind of signature things. Somebody who maybe should be a doctor and, instead of a jewelry designer because she can't read the signature. It is cool. That one is not priced. But... Okay. Oh, there's a little. Cute. It's a little bobby pin. All right. I think that's all on that tray. I just found these little, I don't know, they're supposed to look like cloisonne, but I don't think they are. They're just little enameled elephant earrings, and they're $4, and I'm going to get them. Look at this really cool bridge lamp. This is not the greatest shade that someone has put on this, um, but this is really cool. It's got the spiral down and then here's the base very cool lamp I don't know what they have this one priced at it looks to me like it's been rewired this looks like this looks like a, a, re, a replacement that's made to look in the shape of an antique plug but it's actually really new wiring so that's good this needs a little little fixing up but that's a very functional lamp and it's very cool so I didn't actually film my finding these, but I got a bunch of these floral, um, they're like dried foliage, <laughs> I guess you call it. It's not flowers, it's, anyway, the colors are like these turquoise and this red, which just is gonna absolutely blend perfectly on the porch and mix kind of that oceany kind of, you'll see, you'll see. In fact, it might be at the end of this video. I'm hoping. You know what? I just, I'm gonna be accountable. I put it out there. Porch project coming soon. Stay tuned. Like, in just a second. All right, so here is the cage that I purchased. Now, I've been promising Rachel a bigger bird, and this is like just the start. So we've got the cage now. Now she has to be uber responsible so that we can get her the bird to go in the cage. But we gotta get that into there. Thank you, Tiffany. We can do it. Okay. That is my trip to Dog Junkies. And I'm really glad I let I let Tiffany kind of go ahead of me because I just really don't need to find a lot of stuff right now. I know that sounds weird, but um, I really am trying to train my brain to be more disciplined in what I pick up when I have an abundance of inventory. When I need inventory, then it's game on. You know, you, you just get what you get. Uh, but 
we don't want death piles, or as I like to call them, profit piles. Because really that's what it is. It is your money tied up and your profits are sitting there that will never be realized unless you get it to a place where people can buy it. Um, for me, that is either at the antique mall booth, it is through my live sales, or it is through eBay, or it's like, you know, just emails coming through of things that I purchased, which is a thing. You can do that. You can let me know if there's something that I bought that you want. I, I actually, that's, that's my favorite because I don't have to take pictures and write a description and all of that stuff. Um, I just have to send you an invoice. So, um, I feel good. I feel good that I got a rest of a few little things that I needed for the porch project. You saw the awesome cage. That's just going to get put to the side for right now. It was just an amazing deal. And those cages are like $400 cages. And I saved a bundle by getting it here now used and we'll just keep it to the side. And it's motivation for Rachel to keep up on her responsibilities so she can get that little parrot that she wants. Okay. I am off to another store right now, but that is going to be in another video. So you're going to have to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know when that video goes up. And until then, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. So here is my one little section. Everything you see here was purchased at either a thrift store, an antique mall, or a yard sale. The piece of furniture came from Dog Junkies, as did all of the little colored grass. Of course, you probably saw me buy the big clamshell. I got this in California on one of my trips. Um, this came from an antique mall and it had belonged to a really dear friend of mine who passed away so that's a really special piece for me and um, yeah and then I got my little corner over here not quite finished yet I'm not sure what I'm doing with that piece but for now this is this is what we got um, of course we're adding some birdies in over here all things purchased at the thrift store got a few things I want to add one more something right there as well not sure what yet but there's our first little section so the rug I purchased off someone from Facebook marketplace I think I paid $15 for that rug um, you saw me pick the net up at a yard sale. I've just got that over the little table that I also purchased at Dog Junkies. Um, just to protect it a little bit, I noticed it was getting a little bit of scratching because this is where we process things that are going down to the booth. So these are the shelves I purchased from an online auction that um, I'm everything that's got to get priced and go to the booth gets put on these shelves. 
so that it doesn't come in the house. It stays out here and we will deal with it out here and we got a nice little table to sit out here and deal with it. This is one item that did not come from a thrifted source. I did purchase this at Home Depot and we installed the nice little ceiling fan with the light because, well, you need a ceiling fan with light. 